What's up everybody, John here with another video for those of you that are interested in getting a job on board a cruise ship. This video's topic is going to be all about what happens when you get sick on board. Now a lot of you have been asking uh, what's the deal with, with, with the medical for the ship, uh, what, like the doctors, nurses, what happens if you are a crew member and you get sick when you're on board, what do you do? So there's actually a couple of things that can happen. Uh, number one, there is an infirmary on board where there is a, a doctor and some nurses that will work uh, for the guests. Again, it's, this, it's shared with the guests and the crew. In the infirmary, they do have free like um, painkillers like uh, Advil, Tylenol. Um, there's also free vitamins that they give out to the crew and maybe some sort of cold medicine like Sudafed seems to be something they give out a lot because there's a lot of uh, like colds that get spread around easily. Uh, you probably will get sick if it's your first contract. You will be guaranteed to get sick at least once. And that's not to say that it's just a germ-ridden environment. It's just that your body may not be used to all of the different germs that exist, as well as being in the air conditioning uh, for a majority of the day. It just is going to be some sort of cold. I had a cold on my first month on board where I completely lost my voice for a good two weeks. And that was not good because my, vo uh, my voice was needed for my job. Uh, but again, so you'll get sick, so just kind of keep up with your vitamins, emergency, drink lots of water, and that'll help you at least kind of keep uh, uh, ahead of the game. Now, if you do get sick and you can't perform your job or you're contagious, then you will get signed off where you will stay in your cabin and you're kind of in um, quarantine. They'll bring you food, they'll bring you your meals, and you stay in your cabin and you rest and relax. So they're not going to be like, oh my God, you're sick, you're fired. If you're really sick, you go down to the doctors, they run a little test on you, they check, you know, do like a checkup, and if they see that you're unfit for duty, they will sign you off, they'll let your manager know, and then you'll be off for 24 hours, and you have to go back down to the doctor, and then they'll check and see if you're fit for duty, and again, if you're still sick, they'll sign you off again, but if you're ready to go, they'll send you back to work. Now, after a certain amount of time, if you are sick and you can't go back to work, then they arrange for further care, where you'll have to go to a doctor, that is in one of the ports. Now this is, you kind of hope that you don't want to do this because it's not the best experience from what I've experienced, what my wife has experienced, uh, and what a couple of friends do. Some of them are good, but you'll kind of go and it's like having the, the worst potential, like it, it's just, some ports have great doctors, some, great, some ports have great facilities, but some of them are just kind of shady, so just, <laughs> just remember that. So yeah, if, you're, if you get sick when you're working and you're and you, uh, you, you're not fit for duty, they will sign you off and then they'll give you some medicine and then they'll check you again in 24 hours to see if you are still sick or if you're ready for duty. And then if you are really bad or if you got hurt or anything like that, they'll send you off the ship to a place that has a full facility where they can really check up on you. Um, and worse comes to worse, what does happen is if you are really sick and they need to provide further care for you in port, sometimes you will stay there until this ship either comes back or until you get better and then they'll send you back to the ship. So there's that if you're really sick or you really got hurt and you need to stay at one of the facilities in one of the ports, they will arrange that for you. Now once you sign off of your contract, you have no insurance and you're not covered medically by anything unless you arrange it for yourself. But when you're on your contract, from the moment you sign on to the moment you signed off, you are covered with the ship's medical insurance. And that's what will help you with on board as well as in the port of call. Now there is one thing that's interesting um, when you're working on board a cruise ship is the, the norovirus. It is a, uh, if you've watched the news, you see it's kind of one of those, it's the GI virus, the norovirus. It makes you sick, makes you throw up, makes you have diarrhea. It spreads extremely fast on cruise ships. Now, when the guests get sick like that, you know, it's just from not washing your hands when you go to the bathroom and actually the guests break out of it more often than the crew, but some crew, because they're in guest areas, they just can't help but become exposed to it. Now, if you are a crew member, though, this is very important, and you do come down with symptoms of GI or the norovirus, you have to report it to your supervisor immediately or within 24 hours. If you do not report the symptoms, of the norovirus to your supervisor within 24 hours and then you come down with it or you spread it on, you actually can get written up and receive, um, you get in trouble. So it's happened, people who got sick with it and they tried to hide it because it, you know, it's embarrassing. It's like I have, 
I have diarrhea. Like to go to your boss and tell them. Because it might just be, you know, maybe something didn't agree with your stomach or maybe you drank too much and you had the aftermath of going out and drinking one night. Or it might actually be the norovirus or the GI. But I think you'll know the difference between, you know, a night of drinking and feeling it the next day or the norovirus because it's pretty much nonstop for a good period of time. But if you do come down with it, let your supervisor know or else you get written up and then you will pretty much be put in quarantine for the 24 hours until you're better and then they'll check you again just to make sure because it is, it spreads very quickly. Um, and then if a ship gets to a certain percentage of outbreak on their cruise, they'll actually be quarantined and not be able to make it to ports. We almost got really close on one of the ships that I worked on. I think you're allowed about 2.5 or 3% of the entire, uh, the capacity of the ship. So the, the ship was about 3,000 guests and 1,000 crew. So four, about 4,000 people. And if you got to 3% of them infected with the GI or the norovirus, then no ports. And we got to like, we were like 0.2% below the maximum amount. We weren't allowed to go in the guest areas unless we were working, so no hanging out, and you just pretty much had to go back to your cabin, and there were extra signs put up for washing your hands, more hand sanitizer stations, just, it's crazy. So that's kind of a brief little rundown of what happens if you get sick. So just to recap really quickly, um, you go to the medical center, and if you are unfit for duty, they will sign you off and have you come recheck with them within 24 hours. If it's really serious, they'll send you to a doctor on the land in one of the ports, and if it's even more serious, they can keep you there until the ship comes back or you're fit for duty, and then they'll send you back to the ship. Uh, if you have a breakout of the norovirus, you have to report it within 24 hours or else you'll get in trouble, and then you'll get signed off and taken care of that way. Uh, so I hope that kind of answers a little bit of questions when it comes to the medical side of it and what happens when crew members get sick. If you have any other questions regarding this topic or if you have any questions about some topics that you'd like to see, make sure that you leave them in the comments below and I'll be happy to address them in a future video or write down there in the comments. Make sure to like this video and subscribe if you haven't already done so. And I got a lot more videos on their way with a bunch of different topics for those of you that are interested in working on board a cruise ship. So I hope that you enjoyed it and I'll see you guys next time. Once again, I'm John. I'll see you later.